First of all, Bonds, you've been with the Daggers for a few months now. How are you finding life at Victoria Road? Um, yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. Um, it's a good set of lads and um, the coaching staff have been good and um, we've had a good few months. John Still is a manager who's got a great reputation in the lower leagues. He's won numerous promotions. How are you finding working with him? Yeah, I'm quite, um, it's quite enjoyable at the minute. Um, he seems like he knows how to get promoted. Um, he's got many promotions to his name. And um, he knows what he wants, and that's always a good thing in the manager. And he, tran he um, transfer that well, transfers that well across to the lads. You found yourself on the substitutes bench a bit this season. How frustrating has that been for you, and how desperate are you to get back into the first team setup? Yeah, um, having started the season playing and then now on the bench, um, it's quite frustrating not playing and having to watch games as a player. You always want to play, but um, it's a team sport and it's a forty-six game season, so no team stays sustained for the whole. Of the season, so I'll just be patient, keep working hard, and hopefully get back in. What are your aspirations from a personal point of view for the rest of the season and also as a team as well? Um, to play as many games as possible um, for myself, but as a team, it will be to go up and get another promotion to my own. Looking at your career today, you had a bit of a mad season last year playing for Barnet, Eastleigh, almost joining Gillingham, and then finishing off at Dover. What went on during that transfer window? Um, it was a very mad time, so I started the season off at Barnet. I moved to Eastleigh in November, then I had an opportunity to go to Gillingham, so it was obviously two leagues up, so it was a great opportunity. I took the opportunity and no one knew, um, with my agent or Gillingham or Eastleigh, no one knew that I couldn't play for a third team in one season. Apparently it was a new rule where football national league clubs were counted as a third team in a season, so it was a very unfortunate situation, but then finished off that. Over and it was yeah, a bit of a mad year. What do you see as the highlight of your career today and what would you like to achieve before you finish playing football? Um, highlight of my career was winning the National League with um, Barnet. Um, it was a massive highlight and it was an amazing time. Um, I would like to play at the highest level possible, uh, possibly available to me. That would be a very big achievement for me. Do you have a favourite footballing moment outside of your own career? Um, Liverpool beating AC Milan in the Champions League final. Um, that was a great moment. I'm not a Liverpool fan, but it was an amazing spectacle to watch and a very emotional, despite not being a Liverpool fan. You're originally from East London, Bonds. How do you find playing at Victoria Road in terms of the stadium and the fans? Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing atmosphere um, at, the, at the stadium. Um, yeah, being from East London, it's quite... Um, it's, it's weird because it's... It's very familiar settings, so everywhere I've played it hasn't been where I was from, apart from when I was younger, when I was at West Ham, but it's quite weird. I'm, I travel to training through roads that I grew up on, so it's quite um, a surreal, surreal experience, but um, the fans are brilliant and they sing all the way through to the end of the game. You've worked with various other managers prior to arriving at Victoria Road, but who's had the biggest influence on your career to date? Um, I would say Martin Allen has he has, has, a, has had a big influence on my career. Um, he's followed me since I was a very young player and he's tried to sign me various times and he's had a positive impact on my career and helped me through. Just a fun one to finish then, Bonds. If you were stuck on a desert island, what three things would you bring with you? Um, I would bring my favourite book, Alchemist. Um, that always um, carries me in good stead. I've read it over and over loads of times. Um, Possibly my phone till my battery died. <laughs> Get the most out of that. And lastly, I would bring. Can I bring a person? I'd bring, bring my mum. Because um, she always knows the right things to say when I'm down and what. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Bruce.